I want to say hi to the listener of the day, Cookie. Cookie is a big Steve Cochran fan. Texts all the time. Cookie just can't get enough of me. So if you know Cookie in the 773 area code, um, and you see Cookie, you go, wow, I didn't really like Steve Cochran that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, Cookie. Oh, by the way, we, real quick, we should give Dennis a shout out too, who's a big fan of yours and listening. Oh, that's true. And Dennis, from Niles. Yeah, what store? Land's End. Dennis manager at mm-hmm. Land's End. Yep. And Dennis seems like a really good guy. Good you know what they say about Dennis? He's good. He's no cookie. Uh, uh, but Dennis, no, we appreciate the support very much. Uh, Jason, 815 Texter. To hell with the cognitive test for Biden. Give it to the city of Chicago. <laughs> right? Good That's good. Point. That's good. good City point. management again like said you should find a landline if you're in a 911 situation. Doesn't everybody know you can use a cell phone yeah. in an emergency? Uh huh. Think maybe, so. Maybe people don't know, but now they do. Well, it, apparently somebody at OEMC doesn't know that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, John DeCoss, our old friend Larry Reeb standing by. Before uh, we go to Larry, what's he doing this weekend? Uh, well, this week is kind of special because on Sunday night at Zaney's in Rosemont, I will be there myself to watch this uh, great show. He's God, he's without a doubt one of my favorite. I've known him forever, but he's a legend in Chicago, and he's recording. He's got uh, his uh, special show. He's recording on Sunday night, so uh, cannot wait. All right, cannot prepping wait. prepping for a, a Larry Reeb special he joins us now. Larry, are you having a good morning? Yeah. Hey, kids, how are you? <laughs> hey, it's hey, Uncle like Larry, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's the greatest name, Cookie. Isn't cookie, 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 great. Yeah. cookie. Hey, when you were when you were a kid, did you watch any kid shows? Because I have a problem picturing you at less than the age of. I can get you maybe to forty five. I can't get you under forty five. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, I watched, uh, you know, Bozo and that stuff. You did? Sure. Growing up in well, Dwight, yeah. Illinois, so it's not that, that far. Illinois, yeah. But I, I, what I really remember most was with my dad, I watched, com- I watched uh, comedy. My dad loved comedy. Oh, is that so right? We watched, yeah. We, I remember seeing Ronnie Dangerfield when I was just a little kid on Ed Sullivan. And Larry, how cool is that that you 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 watch him on TV on Ed Sullivan and then you're working with him? I know that was the great. He had you thing. on your special. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. That's a moment. You know, that, was was, Rodney, that was Rodney's old HBO special, right? You were on with him. Yeah, and that was yeah, it was unbelievable that I got I got to work with him. And that, the great, probably one of the greatest days of my life. It was during I worked his club for a couple weeks after we filmed the thing, and he was working Bally's. So he invited me and John Fox, the Bally's, to watch the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. And so we're in a booth with uh, with Rodney, and <laughs> we're getting free food and drinks. And the booth right next to me, when I was growing up, my favorite baseball player was Willie Mays. Willie Mays was sitting right next oh, to me. Oh, come on. Wow. So I'm sitting there with Rodney on one side of me and Willie Mays on the other side. How about that? That's cool. I mean, can you imagine if I were sitting in that booth? That would have been your dream come true. <laughs> Triple play. Triple play. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, when you do this show on Sunday, I know you love the audience. Do you like the audience participation part? I know when you like to sing the songs, Larry, is that is that still yeah. part of your act? I love the audience participation. I, yeah. You know, they... I can't get into the things they when they yell at me. I was just talking to John about yep, this the other day. It's true. Almost, they yell at me, and then my response, I cannot say it on the radio. <laughs> but, I, but I remember the first time I ever got heckled, I was at the comedy room. I've only been doing comedy about a month or two, and I'm up there, and this guy goes, talk about sex. And I go, your parents shouldn't have had it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, uh, and yeah, it's amazing. Like, you know what? I might be good at this. And then yeah, that's and right. that was it. But it's amazing to me, all the years that I've worked with Larry, and I've seen so many shows, and we traveled together. But I, I always felt bad for the audience because they had so much fun. But one person, one person would make that mistake and go too far. <laughs> and it's like... 
the gloves come off and Larry with, I don't even know where it comes from. It's just one line and that person never goes out in public again. No. <laughs> it's amazing. They it's still amazing. flinch. They oh, still yeah. flinch. Yeah. 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 The doubt. Uh, did you ever have a heckler try to rush the stage? Did you ever feel like a lack of security at a club where you thought you were threatened? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a guy in uh, Pittsburgh picked up a chair and started coming towards me. Wow. Yeah. 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 And then a guy, the comic I was working with, I can't remember his name, and I can't. He had a friend who who played for the Detroit Lions, and they were there. And the guy from the Detroit Lions got up and grabbed the guy. <laughs> not the club. The the club management did nothing. Yeah, no, <laughs> right. yeah. Oh of God, course not. Yeah. No comedy club security is not great. They'll basically throw out a drunk, and then they come back in ten minutes later. You know, his- oh yeah, I've had I had a lady walk on stage in Florida. And they did they did nothing, and she and then she left on her own, and then she came back and sat in the front. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it's like so. I had, a guy, so I had a guy in Minneapolis with a broken beer bottle. Like a you, came at you. Yeah, the lights are down, and it was one of those rooms where it's a riser more than a stage. And yeah. so it's not hard to get up on it. And the lights go up and he introduced me and I go up and a guy's standing there at the mic with a broken beer bottle waiting for me to come up. And the <laughs> smile on his face like he was going to stab me. Oh, Hilarious man. start oh, to the show. God. That is the best. Yeah. You know, I hadn't no. said a word. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I, this, is how, this is how much uh, Uncle Larry, Larry has affected uh, just everybody. But uh, there was a movie that came out that I was in, Road Dog. Uh, with uh, Doug Stanhope, and yeah. it won some awards. It was we yeah. had some people on. It was uh, this is how popular Larry is. They took uh, one of his bits and uh, literally quoted it as uh, the road dog. It was one of his stories in the movie. That's how how cool is that? And that's still cool. in court. That, that is still in court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, I know. Where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> I, I shouldn't have brought that up. I apologize. Yeah, I, thanks, yeah. John. Hey, that's why I'm here. In my morning, <laughs> the, resi- the residual checks probably went up to like twenty nine cents. Well, you know, it's, it's it's so funny with Larry because uh, my father said when I was born, you were named John. You are not Johnny. You're not Jack. Whatever. But Larry, his entire every since I've known him. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Johnny. Hello, I, Johnny. <laughs> Uh, Well, it's going to be a great time on Sunday. John, Johnny, whatever you prefer, plug it. Wins Larry up. (laughs) Well, here we go. It's Sunday night at Rosemont, a special taping for Uncle Lair. Uh, It's Jim Flanagan is also on the show, our good friend. Mike Preston, who we love, uh, will be hosting the show. And this is kind of cool. Go to rosemont.zanies.com. Uh, put in the password Uncle Lair, and there's a discount ticket. I think it's ten dollars, oh. but this is to uh, to come out and see the special taping. And it's Uncle Lair. It's the the Zany's legend. I'm going to be there. I'm not kidding. I I already bought my tickets, and I'm not lying about that either. Yeah. Well, so can't you, wait. You, it's a shame you don't know Where's anybody. Sexy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> again. Yes. Again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Larry Reeve, one of the best to ever do it, doing stand up on Sunday at Zanies. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Larry. Right. I'll see you Sunday. See you later. There you go. That's Uncle Larry right there. He's the best. How is he not hosting a children's show? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Sit down, you little <laughs> bastard. Shut up. Quiet. <laughs>